G'day and welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner. Today I'm talking one of the world's marvels of evolution, the tree kangaroo. The tree kangaroos are only found in Northern Australia, Papua New Guinea and West Papua. There are a range of different species. In Australia, we have two, the Lumholtz tree kangaroo and the Bennett's tree kangaroo. Tree kangaroos are a marvel of evolution because their common ancestor a long time ago was a small marsupial that lived in the trees. And then it went down to the ground and they turned into kangaroos. And then a kangaroo went back up the tree. And you can see this because tree kangaroos, whilst they spend their entire lives in the trees, are still rather clumsy. Now, they are marsupials, so they're very different to, let's say, a spider monkey, which is a primate. But spider monkeys, they are so adapted for the trees, those long arms and a prehensile tail. But a tree kangaroo, it can't swing in the trees. It can't even climb down any way other than like a fireman does on his ladder, backwards. Let's have a look at the physical features. I will start at the tail. The tail is thick, it's heavy, and it's long. It's not prehensile, but it works as a counterbalance. So when the roo is sitting there, forwards and backwards, the tail balances out the body. Now they all have fur, and it comes in a variety of colours. And mostly, it's used for camouflage, to blend into the forest. Like all species of macropod or kangaroos, they have large feet. But the tree kangaroo has especially well-adapted feet. The pads are really thick and grippy, much thicker than, let's say, a bigger grey kangaroo because the tree kangaroo's pads need to grip onto the big trees. They have a great sense of hearing, a great sense of smell, and reasonable eyesight. A tree kangaroo spend their entire life in the trees. They do come down to move between tree to tree, but when they can, they'll move through the canopy. Now they shelter near the core of the tree. Sometimes you'll have a big mass of ferns, and the tree kangaroo can just tuck in, and that's where they'll shelter and sleep. A tree kangaroos are found through thick forests, rainforests and they spend their entire life up in the trees. They need intact forests. Uh, they eat a range of different plants and fruits, but they need forests. Some of the major threats to them are fragmentation or habitat loss, uh, predation of domestic dogs when they're on the ground. They get run over by cars. They need their remaining forests to be protected. A tree kangaroos are known as solitary. Okay? They don't live in a group. You will have a male with a big territory, and around that territory will be a bunch of female territories. Uh, the only time that tree kangaroos come together is really when male and female breed or when mum's carrying a joey. A female tree kangaroos can only have one joey at a time. Twins are possible, but very rare. Now, like all marsupials, they carry their joey in a pouch. And when the joey gets nearing independence, it's a really risky time, but that's where mum comes in. Mum teaches the joey how to climb, where to climb, but even more important is the right types of food to eat. In the rainforest, there are so many poisonous plants. If a joey eats one of them, it can die, but it learns from mum. Now their diet and their preferences are a whole range of different trees and fruits. Uh, trees, they want uh, the nice, fresh, succulent leaves. Tree kangaroos take most of the water they need from the food that they eat, but they do drink. Both species of tree kangaroo in Australia are endangered. And in Papua New Guinea and West Papua, it's the same. They face many threats, but some of them include being run over by cars, habitat destruction, habitat fragmentation, when one population of tree kangaroos can't get to another, and attacks from domestic dogs. Okay, two bits of homework. Uh, I would love a picture of a tree kangaroo in its habitat. So please, research any species, I don't mind and put it in its habitat up in the trees. Now, for your homework, we have Goodfellows tree kangaroos at the reptile park. They're from Papua New Guinea. Now, there is one favorite flower that Goodfellows like to eat, and it'll be in this video. Make sure you find it, and you tell me what it is. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Now, the keepers and I are looking after all of our animals and our families, but we all have a bit of extra time at the moment, like you probably do too. So this is a great distraction for us, and hopefully you 
Uh, if you like what you've seen or want to show me your homework, just put it into the comments. Uh, this is what I do, connecting people with nature, and that can't stop. I'll see you next time.